welcome back to the Pache Veni channel. It's Rosie, and I'm here with my friends from California. <laughs> Can you all introduce yourselves? Yeah, uh, I'm Sean. I'm Matthew. I'm Meg. And I'm Luke. Okay, so I met these people at the LA Catholic Worker Internship. Um, we were interns, except for Sean, who might intern next year. Um, and Meg, can you tell me a little bit about the Catholic Worker and what we were doing there? Yeah, so the LA Catholic Worker was founded in 1970 by Catherine Morris and Jeff Dietrich. And what we were doing as interns is cultivating community through the Hippie Kitchen by making meals for those on Skid Row and also having liturgies with the community members and also just becoming friends as interns. That's awesome. Yeah, I was so happy they all are here in Kentucky to visit me. So <laughs> <laughs> we've had a blast. And um, the other night we watched the Devout and Dangerous documentary on the Berrigans and Liz McAllister. If you haven't seen this documentary, I'll put the information in the description so you can check it out. It's really good. Um, Matthew, I know we all really enjoyed this documentary, and can you tell me what do you find most inspiring about the Berrigans and Liz McAllister? Um, I think about the Berrigans and Luke, Liz McAllister, um, what I always find inspiring about other people, I feel like are traits that I don't have in myself. So I'd say the first thing is their ability to put the um, spiritual over the physical by going to prison and doing time. Mm -hmm. To me, that seems like something that I'll just feel like I'd never be able to do, to yeah. just not care about your body or your own emotional needs so much and to have a higher purpose that you're doing it for, to put those aside. And then the second part, I wanted to focus on um, Dan and Phil. Because I know that they were interviewing their other family members and they yeah. talked about how they were all in the military and their dad is very like a hard, yeah. insensitive person. Yeah. And I think for both of them to kind of find the sensitivity in themselves and then to not care that the rest of their family and their parents were different from them, mm -hmm. I think that's sometimes even more impressive <laughs> than like, the work they do. Because I feel like in myself and with other people, it's like go against what your family thinks or other people in communities extremely challenging yeah so. it's like how they were talking about a prophet isn't welcome in his own town or his own home and um that's that's really great matthew and one of the things i really liked about this documentary in particular is that some of our friends were in the documentary so we saw john deere frida berrigan and steve kelly and y'all triplets have a cool connection with steve kelly um, can you tell me about who Steve is and how you know him? Yeah, um, so growing up we would do like little Catholic worker style liturgies in our mm -hmm. house and uh, whenever Steve was out of prison or just like in the area he would come and like do the mass for us. So kind of growing up we'd sporadically see him um, for like short brief uh, periods of time. Mm -hmm. um, and I just remember I think as a kid, I really like struggled to grasp like mm -hmm. how he could like put himself inside those situations, like how he would be okay like serving all that time. So I think yeah. as a kid, you know, I like could not grasp really anything about like the nuclear weaponry and exactly right. what he was fighting for. But I think it just like really made me question. I'm like, how was he able to make that type of sacrifice for what he believed in? Yeah. And I think like just having myself mm -hmm. question that and like think about what I was doing. Yeah, was really so can you tell me just a little bit about who Steve is and what he was doing during that time? Oh yeah, um, Steve was a big uh, member of the Plasters movement. He was basically going and doing actions mm -hmm. at military bases and um, oftentimes breaking into them and doing nonviolent um, protests. Yes, yeah. so Steve is awesome. I'll put information about him if you wanna look him up too. And Luke. And my last question for you, <laughs> how do you integrate the examples of the Berrigans and Steve Kelly into your life? Well, I think uh, in using the word integrating is, I think that's a, that's a big word to use because I don't, <laughs> I don't know how you can ever, at least to me, integrate like those people, their entire yeah. being and the way they live into yeah. my life especially. Sure. But um, I think on a smaller scale, I try to hold that same the deep spirituality they have. Mm -hmm. I think right now, 
in my youth, I'm trying to see if I can capture that and apply it to different areas in my life, mm -hmm. um, in my personal life, but then also in how I want to help the world and especially in a non-violent way, which I think yeah. I've, I'm struggling with, I think sure. a lot of people struggle with, but yeah. I think using them as role models as people who have, I think, really honed in on that spirituality yeah. and um, have used it in very powerful ways, I think is inspirational. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you guys. Round of applause for y'all. And should they do the LA Catholic Worker Internship? Absolutely. Okay. I think Jeff and Catherine are really big role models to all of us. And I can sort of yeah. speak for all of us in saying that they emulate the Berrigans and yeah. Sue Kelly and their message and the way that they live. And being able to be a part of their 50th anniversary celebration with Steve Kelly as well was really cool. They went on to Vandenberg Space Force Base and Rest to Rest. Mm -hmm. And I think just being able to see and learn with them was very valuable. It was amazing. I mean, it was such a beautiful moment. Oh, thank you guys for being interviewed. Y'all are awesome. And um, peace out, everybody. <laughs>